Wedgwood made in England wild strawberry is the pattern. There were two lamps there the day that I found this. We just bought these two Wedgwood Made in England Wild Strawberry is the pattern. You can see the little strawberries there. We paid $5 for both pieces at an estate sale and they sold for $30 plus shipping. Let's get them packed. First thing I'm going to do is wrap it in some tissue paper. Let's start with the plate. I'm trying to fill in the center area. Just going to put a little piece of tape using some masking tape but we'll need more protection than this but let's keep on with the tissue paper okay let's do the bowl and the lid and sometimes I put tissue paper around here but I'm going to be turning this upside down into the bowl so it's going to have lots of cushion and actually it poked through here let's give this a try it does seem to be touching which is what I wanted it to do. Now I'm going to tape these two together, the lid and the bowl, with some masking tape. So here's the lid of dish, and here's the plate, kind of a bowl type plate, it's curved, so let's call it a bowl, I guess. Let's add some more protection. Let's do this piece first. I'm not sure if this will reach, let's find out. I'd like to put things on the diagonal. Fold in all four corners. Add a piece of tape, make sure it's pressed down. And again, this is just a second layer, we're going to add more. And for the lid dish, I'm using two pieces of small bubble wrap. Folding this down from the bottom up, taping it, spin it. Same thing on this end. And I use masking tape because it's less expensive than my packing tape. I typically save this for the boxes. And I have two dispensers, one for masking tape and one for my packing tape. And you can find links for these in the description below the video. I'm not sponsored by this brand, but I do receive a small commission from Amazon if you order from my links and it costs you the same price that it costs me. Thank you for supporting my channel. I could put these together, you know what, I might just do that, tape these and then add the large bubble wrap. I don't keep it smaller than if I bubble wrap, large bubble wrap on these separately. So I think I'm pretty good. I'm going to tape these together as I said. Let's do that. <laughs> Using longer pieces. Okay, that's pretty good. Now time for the large bubble wrap. This buyer sent me a note to make sure that I pack really carefully. And from the message that I received, it said a lot more than that. I think they're a reseller. I think they live in the US and they're shipping these to another country, reselling these to another country. At least that's what I could tell from the um, all the special requests, including do not enclose a packing list or anything identifying my company. So that says to me they're a reseller. That's okay. They paid me. All right, let's, this is half inch large bubble wrap. It's very good bubble wrap, and you can find the link for this in the description below the video. It took me a long time to find the supplier, and I was devastated several months ago when they were out of it, but it's back in stock, and I suggest you order now to get ready for the uh, busy season coming up, fall and Christmas. Get your order in. that's pretty good let's figure out what size box we need you know I do leave these wings as I call them these corners I think it adds extra protection so I'm going to be measuring out to those it's about 12 inches by 9 by 5 12 by 9 by 5 I'll be right back 
It's not an eBay box. It's just one that I ordered in. It's been very handy, actually. And I always add a piece of tape to the side seam. All right, let's do a test fit. I know I have plenty of room. Lots of room, but I'll get it filled in. I only have six inches in height, so I'm going to put an extra square bubble wrap in the bottom. Cross lay a couple more sheets of bubble wrap to each direction. Fit this in, and as you know, I can't put my label on it because they don't want anything to identify the seller on this. Now I've got space to fill in around here. Let's try some air pillows for that. And you can find the link for these in the description below the video. I'm going to pull this bubble wrap up and put these down in the side. Same thing over here. I'm going to pull the bubble wrap up, put this on the outside of it. You just make it. But I still need some on the side here. I think I can fit three. So three here and three over here. It's getting tight, but that's what I want. I want everything to fit snug. And there's not enough room to put air pillows on top. Not enough room, but I can put another sheet, another square of half inch large bubble wrap. Let's check this. Tight fit, but you, you don't want anything to move around. Line this up and get it taped up. And you know, I normally put the first and last initial on the bottom of the box. But I don't think I'm going to in this case. I'll just have to make sure that I remember this is the box going out to this particular buyer. I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. This mid-century modern hobnail bullet shaped or torpedo shaped table lamp sold for $50.98 plus shipping. Came to $63.42 with tax. And I paid only $2 for it at a neighborhood community sale. There were two lamps there the day that I found this. One of them, the base wasn't in very good condition. So what I did is I asked if I could switch out the, the uh, globe for the different base, which I think was a good decision when you look at what I sold it for. I'm going to take this apart like so, and I'm going to pack these separately. I'm going to pack this part, the globe, first. Very unique. I've never seen one like it. It does have some wear and chipping around the perimeter. I disclosed all of that. So let's pack this first. First thing I'm going to do is wrap this hollow area with some tissue paper. I'm not sure how many sheets it will take, but we'll find out. It's going to take more than two. Okay, three is going to do it. Next, I'm going to wrap it in some foam wrap. This is perforated every 12 inches, and you can find a link for this down in the description below my video. I think two sheets will do it. I found that the best way to get this started is just to make a little tear, lay it flat, and after that, it tears off pretty good. It's going to center this up. And tape it with some masking tape. I'm going to, tap, this is the top, I'm just going to fold this in, add some tape, and then because this is so long, I'm going to add another piece of tape here. And then on this end, the open end, the bottom, we're going to tuck this inside and take a longer piece of tape and just tape it all the way across, like so. And then let's wrap it in some large half inch bubble wrap. And we're going to take, I have two pieces here, and then we're going to take another piece on the diagonal to help cover it for that seam. And then I'm going to place this in the center Fold this up around. I'll just go ahead and fold that center piece over. Roll it up. 
and tape it. I'm going to tape it in two places. Now I'm using masking tape and you'll find the links for these in the description below my video. They're affiliate links and I get paid a few pennies on them but it does help my channel so I appreciate anything that you buy from my links. Thank you for that. From tape to bubble wrap to the foam wrap to just about everything you can find in the description below the video. Let's fold this down. Fold this up. I'm going to take a longer piece of tape and make sure your tape is pressed down. Turn it around. I'm going to fold this little piece in, this inner piece. Again, a fairly long piece of tape so that I can try to tape from side to side, pressing your tape down. That looks pretty good. I think it's pretty well protected. Now let's work on the base. For the base of the lamp, I'm going to use two sheets of foam. Just roll it out, perforation, do a little bit of tear. You can fold this over to get a better hold on it and then just simply separate it. I'm going to center this up right here. I'm trying to let the cord just hang outside of it. Just fold it over. And tape it down. And then just fold in the sides. There's no rhyme or reason to this. Just tuck it in and tape it down. And I've decided I'm going to wrap the cord in some small bubble wrap so that this doesn't scratch anything. And sometimes I do a half sheet, but today I'm going to just do a whole sheet. I probably should have done this first, but let's wrap this around. Fold this down and tape it. And I am going to keep it outside of my little wrap here. In fact, I'm going to cut a little slit here so I can work around this easier and tape this. So this is what we have. We need to find out what size box we can put it in. I'm going to lay this down and take a measurement. I'm going to see if I can fit it in a 10 by 10. I might be able to. Might be able to do that or 12 by 12. I'll be right back. Change of plans. I decided to go with this 12 by 10 by 8. It's an eBay box. Let me get it assembled. And some air pillows to line the bottom. And then two layers of bubble wrap one direction. Two layers the opposite direction. See how this fits. I have this hollow area in the corner. I could put some air pillows, but I've got a sheet of bubble wrap here I'm going to put down in here. And the cord can rest on there. I just need a little bit of filler here, although I don't think that's I'm going to pull this back a little bit. I think that's pretty good. I don't think it's going anywhere. I just need probably another piece of bubble wrap for the top. I'm going to add my thank you note that I run 30 up on a sheet of labels. I think one more sheet of bubble wrap on top should do it. Let's get this folded up, taped up, and in the mail. I'm going to write on the bottom the buyer's first and last initial and the state it's going to. It's going to AB in Maine. I hope you check out my go-to supply links in the bottom of this video in the description. And thanks for supporting my channel. Simple sales for good profit. <music>